Just like in English and Spanish, there are many, many tenses. And there's this one that's called the present progressive, el presente progresivo. And to understand what it is, you kind of have to understand the present tense. So let's back up and go into present tense. So if I were to say, el escribe, right? That means escribir is to write. El means he. So it means one of three things. El escribe. It means he writes in general. He's writing also in general. Or he does write, which is more a question. Escribe el. Does he write this or that? But the present progressive means he's writing, but not in general, in this very instant. And that's a present progressive. It's something that someone is temporarily doing in this very moment that, you know, is being narrated. So because the present progressive means to be doing something, and it's something that you don't do every second of every day, that takes the present tense of estar. So let's go over that in case you've forgotten. Um, it's in past videos, so you can dial back to those as well. So repeat after me. Yo estoy. Tú estás. Él está. Nosotros estamos. Vosotros estáis. Ellos están. So you need that part. It's in the present plus a gerund. Now, a gerund, un gerundio, in English is ing. Now, in Spanish, it's one of three. And we're going to get to the first two right now. The third is part of the irregulars. Ando or yendo. So ing from regular verbs in the present progressive is ando for ar verbs and yendo for er and ir verbs. So how do you do this? If I were to say I'm speaking, like I'm speaking to my friend right now. Yo estoy hablando. You take off the AR in hablar and you add ando. So yo estoy hablando. And then rest of sentence, if you want to say, ah, con mi amiga. Estoy hablando con mi amiga. I am talking to my friend right now. If you were to use an ER IR verb, so we are using escribir, he writes. To say he's writing, like right now, he's writing an essay, an email, whatever it is, está using the verb escribir, not redactar. If it was redactar, it'd be está redactando, está redactando. But with escribir, to make it a little simpler, a verb that we use a little bit more often in the you know beginning levels of Spanish, él está escribiendo. So escribir, you take off the IR and add yendo. So él está escribiendo. Okay, now that those are regular verbs. And by the way, stem changers are for ER and AR verbs, regular in the present progressive, which we like. So if I were to, if I was to say, I am starting the homework right now. Yo estoy empezando or comenzando. Both verbs are stem changers, e to I -E, but because they end in AR, they don't stem change. That's just the rule. Same thing with ER verbs. If I was to say, I am returning home, estoy volviendo a la casa, volver. Take off the ER. The appropriate ending is yendo for ER verbs. Yo estoy volviendo. Now, IR verbs, <laughs> their stem changers either go E to I or O to U. And it doesn't matter if it's E to I or E to I E in the present tense. It goes E to I. So a couple of verbs are pedir. Yo estoy pidiendo. I'm asking as a favor or ordering in a restaurant. Yo estoy compitiendo. To compete, competir. Estoy mintiendo. I am lying. Mentir. Estoy, no lo sé. Estoy pi, eh, no, pidiendo, ya dijimos. Estoy eh, repitiendo. I am repeating. O estoy prefiriendo. I am preferring this right now. So whether it's ida I, e, or ida I in the present, doesn't matter. E to I for all stem changing verbs that end in I, R, except for those that go O to U, E, such as dormir. Estoy durmiendo. Okay, I am sleeping. Uh, morir, to die. <laughs> little, a, a little exaggerated, but estoy muriendo. And you use that with expressions like, oh, I'm dying of this or I'm dying of hunger or whatnot. 
And the other set of verbs that are very different are the ones, and this is the third gerund in Spanish I was referring to earlier, is yendo. So yendo goes for two types of verbs. Any you, any verb that ends in U-I-R, and then a set of four verbs that don't and just do it just because. So all U-I-R verbs, the I changes to a Y. So if we were to say construir, él está construyendo una casa. He's building a house. Está construyendo una casa. You can repeat after me. Está construyendo. And it goes E to I. Or sorry, I to Y. <laughs> I to Y. Construyendo. Está construyendo una casa. And then uh, you could use, oh my goodness, let me think, uh, influir, está influyendo, to influence, he's being, in, he's influencing someone, está influyendo, again, the I goes to a Y, so any U-I-R verbs, construir, destruir, influir, huir, um, and then also there are four verbs that are different, and that, and they are the following, ir, yendo. Okay, estoy yendo. I'm on my way. I'm coming. I'm going. I'm en route. Uh, leer, to read. Estoy leyendo un libro. Okay. Creer, to believe. Estoy creyendo. And then oír, to hear. Estoy oyendo. And that's it. So let's try a verb in using the presente progresivo um, in the comments below. And the question, the prompt is, la pauta es, ¿qué estás haciendo? What are you doing? ¿Qué estás haciendo? So, por ejemplo, yo estoy enseñando. I am teaching. Yo estoy enseñando. Así que, ¿qué estás haciendo? Put it in the comments below. And if you haven't followed makingspanishsimple.com, follow it today for more videos and also access to my Instagram where you'll have posts as well as videos on Spanish language and culture. And uh, therefore, hasta luego y a practicar.